Hey, what's up, good people? I'm QC. Welcome to a brand new edition of Talking and Grubbing. I'm about to grub on some of these simply organic white cheddar Cheeto puffs. This is my first time trying these. They're actually good. Not half bad. To me, they feel more cheesier than the original Cheetos puffs. But that's just my opinion. Y'all try the y'all buy these at your local store and try them for yourself. Okay, put that down. Now, NFL Hall of Famer Chris Carter has been fired from FS1. He's been suspended from his hit morning show, First Things First, since October 30th. Rumor has it that Carter got into a heavy argument with the top executives of Fox Sports 1 because he felt that he should have been added to the Thursday Night Football broadcast. But they decided to go with more hotter commodities like Rob Gronkowski. Now, Chris Carter was a great NFL player, you know, all pro, multiple all pro wide receiver. <clears throat> should at least had a Super Bowl appearance, but that's another discussion for another time. He should have been in the Hall of Fame a lot sooner. But just because you are a great football player doesn't always mean you're a great analyst, you know. I've heard Chris Carter call some games like last year he called a Browns game here in Cleveland and he was kind of like dry to me, you know? I don't think Chris Carter is, fit out, is cut out to be no football announcer, you know? He was more better in doing his thing on first things first. So, you know, also I've noticed with Chris Carter on first things first is that he would over talk people like... Nick Wright, Nick Wright, excuse me, or a certain guest. And that's not how you have a debate with somebody. You don't try to take over, you don't try to win the debate by over-talking them because that just look, makes you look annoying, obnoxious, and it makes you insecure and not confident in your points. <clears throat> excuse me. So, I think Chris Carter definitely bit off a lot more he could chew in this situation because, you know... If Fox Sports one, if Fox Sports, excuse me, wanted you to be an analyst for Thursday Night Football or call the games, they would have went to you right away instead of going to Rob Gronkowski, who recently retired. So that definitely says a lot about why that they did not pick him to be the, you know, one of the analysts for Thursday Night Football. But anyways, that's my take. What's yours? How do you feel about Chris Carter being fired from Fox Sports one? Leave it in the comment section below. Till next time, y'all have a good one. Love y'all to life. QC out. I'm about to finish the rest of these white cheddar Cheeto puffs. And now you can donate to Talking and Grubbing Media via PayPal or Cash App. Your donations will help me keep this channel going and I can continue to produce more quality content. I greatly appreciate your donations. The PayPal link and the Cash App cash tag will be in the comment section below. Hey, what's up good people, it's QC once again. Now that you saw the video, subscribe to the channel. When you do, click on the bell icon so that way you won't miss any new videos from me and be mad. Let your family and friends miss those videos and let them be mad. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, like me on Facebook. Thanks for watching.